Hi friendies and thank you for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be Sada's makeup review. I have uh, this two eyeshadow palettes. One of them is called I Only Have Eyes For Ye. And this one is called Everlasting Love. You will see several looks and how I try to achieve those looks of putting me the eyeshadow on. I actually uh, tried to film this look as well and how I tried to do it, but the footage didn't save at all because screw you. That's how life is, I guess. And I mean, screw me, not screw you. Different, <laughs> different meaning, basically. Yeah, uh, this uh, brand is an in-house brand of the chain L'Etoile in Russia. I wanted to get this eyeshadow palettes because I actually love the color story. This one especially, but the other one is cute too. I did not pick up any, any of the other products that they have. I guess I'm just eyeshadow junkie and I'm interested in eyeshadow. This was before my Nova year. And um, you will see how I did the looks and you will see my final opinion in the end. Today I'm testing Soda Makeup by Shadow Palette in uh, the color 004. I only have eyes for you. This is how it looks like, very spring themed, and I feel like doing a pink, a pinkish spring look today. I've already started, but the footage was corrupted, so I'm just gonna continue. <laughs> I'm taking this purple shade for the second half of the lid. And now I'm just gonna do my crease. You can basically use any of the matte pink eyeshadow and of course you feel free you can feel free to repeat this color combination with any of the eyeshadows that you have at home <laughs> Unfortunately, now that I'm blending, all the shimmers disappeared from the lid. But that's okay, we'll just do it all over again, I guess. I know the majority of the people use uh, mats for, like, mats for crease first and then shimmers, which I also do sometimes, but um, I feel like if I do the shimmers first, it's easier for me to I'll combine uh, the color scheme with the potential crease color because I'm not exactly sure in the beginning what crease color I'm gonna use. <laughs> shimmers just disappear from my eyelids or any eyeshadows. I feel like the more I put them on, the more they disappear. Even though I didn't even set my eye primer. Weird, weirdly enough, I feel like my eyeshadow color also disappeared. So I decided to use Beige Cosmetics palette for more depth and increase. I'm gonna use this color. Hmm, did something change really? No idea. 
This look is killing me. But okay, let's just pretend that's my crease. Let's go back to the shimmers. Well, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. And why did my... Why... Does everything fade weirdly? Maybe this, um, the color, the original color is not too bright for such a muted color in the crease. But the shimmers keep fading. I'll leave it out. Fine, I'll try my finger. Um, I think it uh, gives the same effect as the brush gives. Yeah, no, no difference. And uh, half of the the pink shimmers have already disappeared already. What the? I honestly had uh, high expectations for. I mean, mm, yeah, I had a higher expectation for the palette because I don't feel any sort of prejudice towards um, more affordable makeup and uh, when some beauty vloggers give uh, something bad reviews I have to take into consideration that they're used to using oh my god and look at all look at all the fallout what the hell? What the hell? I did not expect that. Yeah, so what I was saying is that some beauty vloggers are used to like Lamer makeup and Tom Ford makeup and they have a negative prejudice towards drugstore brands and I personally don't but um, I'm sorry what the hell is this feels like I have already tried doing my lower lid makeup because uh, everything has transferred there maybe you need to use that shot So someone was just violently knocking at my door, which freaked me out. But what I was saying is that maybe these eyeshadows need a glitter glue to stick on. Yeah, because they just can't... I don't, I like, don't understand what's going on, this is crazy. I guess I'll just finish the rest of the makeup and come back. So here we have the finished result. Oh, I'm confused, like... It doesn't look too bad, but on... Um, no, actually it does. Like, it looks pretty normal from far, far away, but up close. And uh, you can see the T and uh, that the shimmers have all creased and faded away. What the hell is that? I have... I had a sticky base, which has not been set with a white eyeshadow, so... Yeah, I feel like that's trash. Even though the color combo and um, the color scheme of the whole palette is very pretty, but this is just trash and I feel like this uh, video is cursed because of 
how everything went down but I will test other colors as well so stay tuned for that so this time I'm starting with the crease So this time I'm starting with the crease and using perhaps um, this color from Colourpop My Little Pony eyeshadow palette. Girl. So now when we have a crease going on, I'm wetting my brush with a setting spray because today I want to test those shadows are wet with a wet brush. Yeah, that um, setting spray squirts quite a lot, so we don't need that much water actually. Let's do that. Not what she said. Yeah, so I will start with this beautiful color just to be disappointed in the end of the video i guess the color uh, performs okay so far definitely better with a wet brush than with a dry brush But it does like does make my eyelid look a bit um foldy and old if you can see. But the color is really pretty. And I'll try um, purple shadow and wetting another brush. Yeah, making sure it's wet. I'm going on with some. Um, go with pink color for this color scheme and that's not um, dark enough for the other V but we'll just I think I like how they perform what but they don't really work well when trying to like blend together or something there's like this uh, situation going on on the border of two eyeshadows that I don't really like and um, also I think I need more blue on this side mm -hmm. I think eyeshadow already fades away, just the same thing has happened in my first look. Okay, but I'll come back to you with a finished look. So I'm back with a finished look. I used Colourpop Metal Pony eyeshadow, like a white uh, bluish duochrome on the inner corner. But the rest of the eyeshadows, including this one, are from Soto Makeup. And what can I say to recap this time using the eyeshadows with a wet brush? First of all, I can say they, they went on pretty pigmented, but still some of the shadows faded. I mean the pink one, just as it happened in the first look. And also doing them with the wet brush made uh, um, my, eye, my skin look a bit wrinkly and the eyeshadow highlights the texture of the eyelid. That looks a bit weird, uh, but the color scheme, of course, is beautiful in my opinion. 
And uh, for the third look, we will test that was next glitter to glitter, so please keep watching. So now I feel like I can finally give my opinion on these eyeshadows. First of all, I gotta say they swatch beautifully. Like look at that, look at that. Boom. In my opinion, that's very pretty. Yeah, and even when you transfer them on the eye, um, they look pretty pigmented at first, but then they just fade. And weirdly enough, that happens um, if, no matter what base you're using, and uh, even if you're applying them wet, dry, or even with glitter glue. I like the color combination a lot. And this is, I mean, you have to give them credit just for that. This is not your basic brown eyeshadow palette, and um, it's a smart color. It's a beautiful, bright, spring uh, blossom-like eyeshadow palette, but it makes uh, sense from the color combination um, approach, because like, look at this one. You can pair it with this shade, which I did. You can pair it with this shade, which I also did compared with this one you can pair this pink and this purple you can pair this pink and this blue and this whatever it is mm, you can I haven't tried this one matte I and I feel like that's possibly the one of the few mattes in their eyeshadow palettes but th this looks like a weird dark uh, gray light black type of color yeah it looks like kind of dark seafoam green dark dark olive or something but um uh, i don't know do you do you feel like this is this is close the color in the palette to the swatch yeah so this is that is weird yeah, but the colors fade on your eye uh, immediately. Like, look at this eye. Um, it's faded in the inner, like, first corner of the eye, first half. You can, like, there are uh, those little creases showing and highlighted by the inconsistency of the shadow. But, yeah. I also like the packaging. It's cute. Um rubber like I wanna yeah you can also take it out of the the plastic apparently yeah like this is this weird or is this actually genius that's the thing and that's the palette it's not so like it's not built together, it's built like in two separate pieces. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Is this genius or is this weird? How do I put it? God, how do I put it back inside? I have to be persistent. I have to push it. Ah, go away, go away, swatch. <sighs> yep. Same thing with this one. I have tried this beautiful forest slash olive green on my lid. It's not as metallic. Like you can see these are different formulas. This is like a metallic and this is a satin as well as this one. So these are actually pretty easy to work with. And this is the one that also fades weird sort of makeup again weird oh wait there's like a weird gray matte but it's it looks pretty nice on the swatch I 
like pinky mauve, not gray. But um, I don't feel like this color, it's a cool tone mauve, works with any of the colors here, including this, this, or this. Because these are warm tones, this is a green, uh, and this is a, a mauve, and I don't see a mauve and a green working together. And this is like a pale pink matte. Yeah, maybe these two are supposed to be working together for a really neutral look. I mean, I could have tried that, but um, I, I can't do a look just with this two. Maybe I can, who knows, but I, I have tried, like, I made about five looks with the palette already, and um, maybe some final opinion. The pigmentation is nice, but the fading, no matter the base, no matter the base that you have. And my suggestion, uh, if you are open to ordering from abroad, I would recommend you checking out ColourPop palettes or ColourPop singles. Uh, theoretically, you can dupe the color schemes that uh, they have here with ColourPop singles or other singles. I know a lot of people, a lot of people like Sydney Grace and Davina eyeshadows, but you have to order those from the US and they don't have such international friendly policy as ColourPop. Um, even Russian companies, professional Russian companies have singles, but you also have to order at them. They're not just like in every store where you, where you can buy them. I'm talking about uh, brands like ProVG or Effect. If you are strictly in a Russian market for eyeshadow, something out of the box like this, I uh, and you don't want to order it, you just want to buy something from the store, I don't know what I can recommend you. These are not bad. The, I mean, yes, they are not bad. They're kind of bad, but they're not horrible, and they're also not bad. I mean, if you have a limited choice and you have next glitter glue, you can make them work. You can make nice looks with them. It's just that they they require some effort. But I will continue using them. I enjoy these colors in my collection. I don't regret purchasing them. Definitely not the worst eyeshadows and I've ever tried. And some eyeshadow palettes and color combos are straight horrible. I like the packaging. They also came with stickers, but some of the stickers were missing. That was very weird. <clears throat> like there was a sheet of the stickers and some of the stickers were missing, but then I lost the stickers altogether. Quite a tragedy. What will I now stick on my face? Nobody knows. Yeah, maybe this is not not so the um, the most helpful review on the planet. But if I gave them um rating out of ten, I would give them like six, and that's not bad. I have not tried other eyeshadow palettes by Soda or any other products in general by this brand, but this is the final opinion that I have so thank you very much for watching hopefully I will see you in my next video so bye bye